We've all had enough of rebooted timelines and flashbacks and continuity changes in the last two decades in comics for a whole timeline. In fact, the only thing that seems to have been a constant is that DC or Marvel's timeline would reset more than an original Nintendo console. But with the end of Death Metal, which is sort of an anti-crisis, the only thing that reset is all of the resets. This is DC's Infinite Frontier, and it starts with Future State. Hi, I'm Dan Umpton, and this is the Doomcast. In Death Metal, Wonder Woman did what it finally took to take down the one who laughs and fix the multiverse with the help of the others of Perpetuous Race. What that new world looks like exactly isn't entirely clear, so Future State takes a flash forward to a possible future or futures of DC's timeline. The next Batman, Dark Detective, Harley Quinn, Superman of Metropolis, and Justice League all appear to take place in approximately the same timeline, close to about the same point, although it doesn't seem like they're taking place at quite the same time. For the Bat family, Bruce Wayne has ceased being Batman. He's lost his fortune and he's presumed dead, but has begun fighting crime again in secret. Tim Fox has taken over as the next Batman. He's the son of Lucius Fox and brother to Luke, Batwing. Now, all of this is because Gotham is under martial law, overseen by the Magistrate and their peacekeepers, apparently funded with and equipped with Wayne Enterprises tech. Uh, masks and vigilantism, both heroes and villains, are outlawed. Uh, but they aren't gone by any stretch of the imagination. The next Batman follows two boys getting initiated into a Bane-themed gang in the Santa Prisca neighborhood and how they cross paths with this new Batman. The other stories in these books, like Arkham Knights and Grifter, take place in roughly that same time frame. Uh, Harley Quinn was surprising and fun. Uh, she's acting as sort of a Hannibal Lecter type, helping a reformed Jonathan Crane find others to imprison, uh, other Bat rogues specifically. Wonder Woman was yet another standout, as was Dark Detective. Now, Dark Detective and its accompanying grifter story are masterpiece-level storytelling from the scribes uh, Mariko Tamaki and Matt Rosenberg, respectively, and uh, glowing dynamic art from Dan Mora and Jenna Mancini. Now, Joelle Jones' art is always stunning, and her story for Wonder Woman was as clever as it was wryly funny. Uh, it was kinetic and very exciting. It set Yara Floor in the far future against the underworld via the Amazon rainforest. Swamp Thing is set at yet another undefined point in a grim far future. Uh, from Ram V, a really sharp writer whose style I really enjoyed for just the few stories that I've read, uh, Swamp Thing builds a whole race of plant humanoids from scratch who are searching for the surviving human beings after a man-made disaster. Now, not all of the green people that Swamp Thing has made are really interested in helping humans, though. And they're all seen as monsters by the humans that they do find, because they speak at ultrasonic frequencies with lungs that breathe real air. It's a really crazy, engaging story, probably the most creative and wild of all of these so far. And of course, Ram is also writing the story in Justice League Dark, which deals with Merlin taking over the planet and all magic. Zatanna and Detective Chimp, who now has a surprising new dual identity, are trying to find Constantine and the other last living magicians. Then there's Justice League, written by Josh Williamson, art by Robson Rocha. Uh, and an entirely new lineup with Joe Mullane as their Green Lantern and a new Flash and new Aqua Woman. Uh, the best future stories go way over the top, and this does that big time, with a weird new Legion of Doom and a surprising twist. I loved it. There really wasn't anything about this effort that disappointed me so far. Uh, some of the Green Lantern stories intrigued me more than others. I wasn't as excited by The Flash, but the prospect of where it's all going uh, is really interesting with all the speedsters, except for Wally, depowered, and now he's gone crazy being used by some evil force. Uh, I think an event like this is, that's both fun and a departure from the norm and a reset without being a real reset is a good thing. Uh, new characters, new villains, new heroes, new threats, and timely themes play into some fun and exciting new books uh, with fresh new stories, and that's fun. And that's what comics should be, right? It's not the first time that DC has jumped into the future, uh, certainly not at all, uh, from you know, the Legion of Superheroes back in the 
50s all the way to DC 1 million and Future's End, things like that. I love Future stories. The definite five buys for me are Swamp Thing, Wonder Woman, The Next Batman, Dark Detective, and Harley Quinn. But I think that you're going to see some interconnected stories with all of these, perhaps, before this all ends. Thanks everybody for watching. This has been the Doomcast. We'll see you next week.